Do you want to shift into perfect alignment with your dream? Do you want to shift into the lane where the energy is moving fast and instead of life overtaking you, instead of dreams passing you by, you're right there with it. You're in the thick of the action. Do you want to live a life like that? Because if you do, and if you're serious about it, I'd like to show you something. This will move you forward. Come on, friend, let's kick into it. How are you, glorious soul? Welcome to Elevate. I'm Ben. I'm here every day banging on about spirituality, the law of attraction, living your best life, sharing with you things around brain science, neurology, psychology, things I learned studying for a degree in counselling, all with an aim of taking you from where you are into the place where you live amongst all of your dreams, because that's where you should live. If not you, who? If not now, when? This is your time. So come on, my friend, let's get serious about this. But before we kick into this content, can I just offer you an invitation to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so? I am here every day. You can reach out to me in messages. I respond to every one of them that I see. So join our energy. It is a family here, friend. Now, I love you and I'm thankful for you. So today, I want to talk to you about coming into perfect alignment, alignment with your dream, with that vision of your life moving forward, and an alignment that is so strong that it's basically impossible to fall out of it. You say to me, Ben, can you explain this to me? Because I really don't see how that's a vibe. Friend, bear with me. This won't take a lot of your time, but it's going to hold water. See, the only way to come into harmonious alignment with what you want is to recognize the art of vibration. We know that everything that exists in this world and universe that we find ourselves in is energy. Tiny particles of energy, little atoms and nucleuses of cells, and they all vibrate at a specific frequency. And the frequency at which they vibrate and entangle dictates the manifested form. You've heard me give the example before of a glass of water. You can pour water from a tap into a glass, and that's energy. When you examine it under a microscope, you don't see a glass of water. You see billions of particles of energy vibrating, and the frequency at which they vibrate dictates the physical form. You can take another form of energy, let's call it heat, and you can apply that to the water, and those particles of energy are not destroyed, but as the water begins to boil, the energy is transformed from water into steam vapour, and it evaporates. You haven't changed or destroyed the water, what you have done is transmuted the energy. Now, your dream. Your dream has a vibrational code. The mood that you are in right now, it's energy. It has a vibrational code. Ever wonder why we talk about good vibes, bad vibes? It's more than just a way of speaking, friend. It refers to the very transaction that is happening. When you stand in conversation with someone and it just, you just feel off about it, friend, your gut doesn't lie. That's an energetic vibration. Those bad vibes are bad energetic vibrations. Your body receives it like a television receives TV signal, like a computer receives the internet, like my phone receives phone calls. Your body is in tune with the vibration of energy. This is why we are so affected by mood, because mood is simply energy. Have you noticed that if you walk into a room where Everyone has been fighting. It is tense. You don't even need to have been there to see the fight. You just walk through the door and you're like, whoa, I could cut this air with a knife. Have you experienced that? It's a horrid feeling, isn't it? What about this? Have you experienced going to a live music event? Or maybe a, a live um, sporting event played at a stadium? Everyone is there in sync with their energy. They're having a great time and the atmosphere is electric. The hair on the back of your neck stands up. They sing that song and hit that note and you get goosebumps. It's energy. 
So for you to live in the fullness of the dream you visualize for yourself, your visualization is the key. Because when you close your eyes and start participating in what we call mental rehearsal, mental rehearsal is just playing little scenes of movies inside of your mind's eye in line with what you really want. It's just visualization, it's being creative. And you can live in this all day long, you can do it once a day, you can be intentional, you can float off on a cloud and drift away all the time, whatever you want to do. There's nothing right or wrong about visualization except it should always connect you with the feeling of your desire fulfilled. People say to me, Ben, how do I know if I got my visualization right? How do I know if I've locked it in? And I always ask, did you feel connected to that emotion? Did you feel like all of the feelings in that visualization indicated that you were right in the middle of what you want? If the answer is yes, that is the vibration you need to attract your dream. That is how you know you are visualized correctly. Keep doing that as much as you can and as often as you can because, friend, what you were doing is pre-exposing your body to a vibrational set point ahead of that coming to be with you. You are pre-exposing your body to what it is that you want in a feeling state before it's made manifest and your body is so subjective, it doesn't know whether it's in that situation right now or whether it just feels like it is because you're conjuring up all of this mental imagery. Your body doesn't know. When you close your eyes and assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled. You've just won the lottery, woo, get in. When you really connect with that feeling and you feel it, your body doesn't know that it hasn't happened or it has. It's the same chemistry that's happening in your body. The flow of chemicals through your bloodstream is what shifts your vibration. Ask any neurologist and they will tell you that people with depression have, you, I mean, friend, we could go down the most serious of rabbit holes here, but let's, let's just back up a few steps. I know there are issues of chemical imbalance. I know pharmaceuticals have their place. But I also know, not just through the study I've done, not just through my degree that I researched for and committed a season of my life to, but through my own journey, friend, I know that pharmaceuticals change your mood because they change your vibration. But you can do that for yourself. You can change your own vibration. Your mood has a vibration. We can capture it using curly and photography and see the energy leaving your body, see the aura surrounding you. We can see thoughts on brain scans as energy. Everything is energy. The dream you want has a vibrational code. You have to keep playing that movie in your mind until you become so familiar with it that it feels like you're already there. And when you do, that is the energetic set point you need to be at consistently to usher in that new day. Now, most people, they can get there, but they can't stay there. Most people, they can close their eyes and do some mental rehearsal. They can do a visualization. They can do a meditation. They can read something they've written in a journal or whatever it might be for them. And they can connect with that emotion. But they can't stay connected. This is where the work is. If it hasn't manifested, work on staying connected to that emotion. You say, Ben, I've got to live in the real world. How am I supposed to stay connected to that emotion? Well, friend, that's where the work is. See, once you become aware of something, you become cognizant of it. You become conscious of that information. And I bet you, if you spend enough time in reflection, maybe listen to this again and recognize the power of what I'm telling you, you won't ever let yourself go unconscious again. You just won't. Because do you know what will happen? You will have a beautiful time of mental rehearsal. You'll connect with the feeling and then you'll go over to the shops to buy some milk for your coffee and they will have run out and you'll have an opportunity to be triggered. And you'll feel it inside of you and you'll feel the resistance. You'll feel your body temperature start to rise. But this time it's different because this time 
you are so hyper aware of where it is that you want to go. You have spent so much time basking and baking in the assumed feeling of the wish fulfilled that you are not going to go unconscious, not over a bottle of milk. Thank you very much. And when your boss or that colleague at work tells you that that assignment wasn't good enough or that there's a problem with this client or that there is an issue with some work you submitted or someone takes the glory for something that you did, you will feel it and you won't go unconscious again because where you are going matters way too much. And there is a tipping point where all of this goes on autopilot, friend, and I can tell you it is the most incredible thing to simply wake up and recognize that you've been doing so much inner work for so long that it's finally taken root and you have become that version of you. And do you know what happens when you've become that version of you? All of the things on the periphery of life that you want, all of the things outside of yourself, the money, the relationships, the cars, the holidays, the fame, the fortune, the homes, the restoration, the heat, everything turns up in that moment. It's a magical time, friend, and you can get there. But you've got to prepare yourself and you've got to come into that alignment and just repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat until it goes on autopilot. And if you're not there yet, keep repeating. Enjoy it. This is a season and seasons pass. When they pass, they pass quickly. And there will be things that you miss about this season. So make the most of them while you were here, friend. Now I love you. I'm thankful for you. I hope this blessed you. I hope you're going to send it to someone and bless them too. But please do make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Check these videos out before you find anything else to do if you really are serious about moving forward. Make sure you come and visit tomorrow too. I love you so much.